Ozempic, it is literally the hottest drug in the country right now. These days, it's the talk of TikTok. Many are using it off-label, crediting the drug for their weight loss success. Is reportedly being used off-label for weight loss. And so people have been using Ozempic instead. Another name, the skinny pen. It's become something very hot and heavy in Los Angeles, Beverly Hills. It took almost more than two months for me to be able to find my dose. Many are using it off-label. A trend that may have started in Hollywood. Meglitide works by making you feel full longer. Once you stop it, you theoretically can regain all of that weight. What is this new skinny drug? We have been promised for years and years that there is a miracle solution to our overweight problems. Today, there's a diet pill that can help you lose weight without being hungry. Dexatrim, I finally lost weight and without being hungry. Dexatrim, just one works all day. I lost weight and feel great. Morning through bedtime. What, but what if I told you? It's no longer the skinny drug or the skinny bar. It's the skinny pen. Just another thing for us ladies to use, am I right? If y'all don't know, I want to give y'all some backstory to like what's even happening here. Type two, diabetes. You've probably heard of it. I work with a lot of women on the daily who are pre-diabetic or diabetic. When you have type two diabetes, your lifestyle is out of whack most of the time, meaning your consumption of food has affected your insulin levels. And this doesn't happen overnight. It's kind of a habit that's <clears throat> my gosh, my voice. It's kind of a habit that's like repeated for years and years and years. And I don't necessarily blame the people that develop this disease. And I don't necessarily blame the food companies. I think it's a mix of those things and culture that kind of play into the whole type 2 diabetes situation. And I will just say it because no one on the internet will. It's freaking scary, okay? I've seen it with my own two eyes in the flesh. It's a scary, 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 scary disease. And I genuinely feel like society kind of sugarcoats it. They're like, oh, it's not a big deal. It is. It is a big deal. We want to reduce the risk of people developing type 2 diabetes, and that's what the NHS, uh, that, that's what the Healthier You NHS Diabetes Prevention Program aims to do. The side effects are like increased thirst, increased hunger, fatigue, blurred vision. You get infections easier and they don't go away. And I feel like whenever I see type 2 diabetes or like I look it up or like study it or like whatever, there's a lot of sugar coat around it. I don't want to sugarcoat it today. Like some of the craziest things that can happen when you're diabetic is you can actually lose your vision, you can go blind, and you also could get amputated. You might need to like have a limb ap amputated or toes amputated, depending obviously what's happening. Like, hello. Why though? Like why, why do we go blind? Why do we need to be amputated? Like that's pretty drastic things, right? It's because of reduced blood flow. Like wounds are slow to heal, may not heal, so the doctor gotta get in there, get to work. As a result, tissue can become damaged and an infection can develop and spread to the bones. And then you can also, like I said earlier, you can go blind from diabetic renopathy. And it's caused when like high blood sugar damages the vessels in our eyes. Yeah craziness right so this is all scary but what else is really 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 scary is the fact that most americans who have diabetes are spending hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars each month on medication to just manage it not to fix it but to manage it not to mention the percentage of people that do have diabetes 80 to 90 percent are overweight or obese. Most obese people in America are directly correlated to the poorest states. The most obese states in America are also the poorest states in America. So I love that they're getting the most expensive drugs on the market. Am I right? Not the most expensive, but pretty expensive. Like the average, average is like almost a thousand dollars per month. And while I think medication can totally be a tool to help manage diabetes, I think the real cure to diabetes obviously is exercise and diet and over overall lifestyle change is what really helps it and cures it. But I think obviously people 
need medication, it's necessary, they don't really get an option, and it can really be a gateway for them to help cure it and to fix it and to do all the good things. And yeah, like I said, they need this medication so they don't go blind and they don't get amputated and they can honestly just feel good. Like, yes, all the scary things, yes, but so that way they can manage their insulin levels and bring down their high blood sugar. They can also have damaged nerves, which is also no bueno. <laughs> yeah, no. So what is this skinny drug you're talking about, Haley? Hello, give us the answers. Give us the, give us the meat. Okay, I will. So the skinny drug, or what people are now calling it, the skinny pen, is sweeping social media, and it's Ozempic. It's a medication made for type two diabetes patients to manage their insulin, obviously. Okay, following, you're following, okay, good. This pen also makes patients lose a lot of weight. So it can be beneficial for people that are taking the drug who are already overweight. Like I said, 80 to 90% of people taking the drug are overweight, so if they're taking this, okay, yeah, okay, makes sense, right? Stay with me. A lot of people are looking at this like, oh, you can lose weight really fast. And so people that do not have type two diabetes are taking this drug to lose weight and it's kind of an easy way out be honest and it's kind of scary like no and because of this increased demand from people that are not technically medically eligible but they are eligible because anyone can basically get this drug with all these like online websites and different things like i could get this drug i saw this like news reporter who got it in like under an hour and she was not overweight or obese or had type 2 diabetes she just could get the drug like you can just get the drug we exchanged a few messages and i had my ozempic prescription and because there's like an increased demand, it's obviously now getting kind of harder to find. And that's the scary thing. So the people that actually need this medication to live, to function, are having shortages. Also, speaking of shortages, Ozempic has a type of sister drug called Wegovy. I can't really say it right. I just, I'm, I'm not saying it right. But basically, it's like a sister drug. It's a semi-glutide also, which means it suppresses hunger, which people should not be taking if it's not meant for them, okay? It basically sends like a hormone to your brain and suppresses your hunger, which like, cool, don't get me wrong, but like, sounds a little scary to me. So the sister drug, Wegovy, you don't have to have type 2 diabetes to take it. Basically, there's like a giant company that owns both of these drugs, okay? Said that like they don't recommend taking Ozempic if you don't have type 2 diabetes. And, but the sister drug you don't need to be on type 2 diabetes. But because of that and that high demand, Wegovy is in such short supply that most people are trying to take Ozempic. Then taking away from the type 2 type diabetes patients. And again, it's just so scary how easily it is to get these medications. Like, I, I get, don't get me wrong, I'm not a doctor. I don't understand all the ins and outs of this, but like I said, I saw a news reporter get it so fast. We exchanged a few messages and I had my Ozempic prescription by the very next day. No one ever saw her on video or in person. That's all it took to get a prescription in less than an hour. And you can just go and buy it same day if it's available. So who's stealing this drug? Because most Americans are living to pay to, to paycheck and we know it's not the people that have type 2 diabetes, really. So a lot of the blame has gone towards dun -dun -dun -dun, Hollywood because there's a lot of people that do have the financial means to buy this drug. And it's not like this drug like just disappeared, right? There's a lot of claims and accusations to certain celebrities and certain people. With the skinny trend coming back and like our media and everything shifting, we are seeing influencers like downsize, getting skinnier, looking thinner, all the things. So yeah, there's just a lot of speculations that maybe this drug is has something to do with that situation, right? So back to what I was saying, I'm not against drugs, I'm not against medication to help you if, if it helps you, but just these drugs can just be dangerous to just take off label, in my opinion, if you're not subscribed or subscribed, well, if you're not subscribed, 
but if you're not prescribed these drugs it can be dangerous and it's not worth it because once you kind of get on these drugs you're kind of meant to be on these drugs forever you're not meant to like come off of them so once you come off of these drugs you can gain the weight back take the medicine kind of indefinitely because oh. once you stop it you theoretically can regain all of that weight. And also not to mention, these drugs do have side effects. They're not just these like miracle pills. Like they do cause nausea and bowel discomfort and all these like <laughs> annoying things. And if you're really just looking for it, for the weight issue, maybe there's some alternative and healthy ways to address healthy weight management. Cause I know that stuff. The people that are meant to be taking this also are supposed to be like, over overweight and what we're seeing in Hollywood is these average normal healthy people taking this drug and dropping those extra pounds and that's dangerous and like if I were to take this drug I'm not overweight I'm not obese that's dangerous <laughs> Elon Musk is taking Wegovy and he's been really open about that that and he's kind of suggested that other like many, 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 many people in Hollywood are actually taking it. Y'all, is it worth it? Like, is it really worth it? It feels like Robin Hood in reverse, okay? We got like stealing from the poor to give to the rich instead of like the original plot where you steal from the rich and give to the poor. You know what I'm saying? It's like in reverse. It says, let's get more greedy. And none of this would be happening if we just loved ourselves and took care of ourselves properly didn't try to like get this quick fix if it was just okay you know what? i'm gonna make some lifestyle changes then you could achieve this without having to use the skinny pen but those are just my thoughts and opinions if people just loved themselves and did not force themselves to take a drug not made for them <laughs> but that's my opinion if you liked this video, you're going to love my other videos. I have a whole playlist on body image and confidence. And then I have a no whole other videos on the thinness era and the trends coming back. So go check those out too. Just a reminder, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I love you guys so much. And please subscribe. Bye.